Hello everybody, this is Rod from Spicy Pedals and today uh, we're gonna build a fuzz and we're going to use only four components a diode, a resistor, a capacitor and a transistor so this is the schematic that we're going to follow the input signal is coming from here, this is your guitar it's going to enter to the capacitor the capacitor goes to the, to the base of the transistor the emitter of the transistor goes to ground the collector goes to the resistor, the resistor goes to voltage and the collector and the base are connected with the diode the output is connected to the collector and that's it let me show you my my setup you need to have this i have it because i do a lot of recording and this is very convenient for, for me but you can use i don't know alligator clips or anything yeah you have at hand to connect your cables to the breadboard so on the right side i have the guitar dc and the amplifier that means the input is going to be the yellow, the output is the green, and the DC current is is a red. Let's hear my clean tone. So I'm going to connect together the tips and the sleeves. And this is how it sounds. Alright. Let's get rid of everything. So let's just start by placing the, the transistor. So the, the first thing that you need to know your transistor is exactly where, who is the emitter, who is the base, and who is the collector. In this particular transistor, in the 5088, the, the, if the flat surface is facing you, the emitter is going to be on the left side, the, the base on the center, and the collector on the right side. So I'm gonna place it over here and I am going to use this jumper cable to connect the emitter with ground. Now I'm gonna follow the, the schematic. I'm gonna connect the capacitor to the base. This is the coupling capacitor. It's going to remove all DC current that is coming from the input and it will only allow the AC current to pass through. I'm going to bias this transistor using this resistor that is going to be connect, connected to the to the voltage and to the collector. Oops. Whoopsie. Voltage and collector. And finally, the diode is going to uh, go from the collector to the base. There you go. Now I need to connect the input. The input is going to be connected to the capacitor and to ground. The Output is going to be connected to the collector, and now we need some voltage. This is the voltage, and this is ground. And if everything is good, we should hear. So yeah, so the, pretty much this circuit is ready to, to get into Stonebox. Obviously you need a few extra things, you need a switch, you need to implement a switch, and obviously a diode indicator that your effect is on. So you are going to need a resistor, I usually use a 4K7 from current to positive, which is the longer lead. Of your or your lead then the lead goes from positive to ground and there you go all right so thank you for watching um please let me know what you think in the comments if you have any suggestion everything everything is welcome until next time bye bye